Master Hua was probably one of the major inspirations of my life um, when I was or when I first got into Buddhism um, at, when I was like 17. Because uh, DRBA did so much translation work and did so much um, publications, and because I, I was uh, lucky, lucky enough to have access to a, a good uh, teacher in Niagara Falls, Canada, I had access to all these writings. So what's interesting for me is at that time, um, reading the commentaries and the lecture series, the stuff that's uh, published in VBS, was very inspiring and very transformative for me. And then now, I think what's very interesting for me is that that's something you read. And now, uh, from my program before and then now reapproaching all these people who were close to him, I get even more a sense of the um, liveliness and the diversity of, of um, emotion and spirit of Master Hua. Um, knowing his old disciples and getting to talk with them and getting them to share their stories and, and seeing the diversity is really incredible. Even inspires me more to see just how broad his vision was and how, how it's, it's, har it's hard to even like think about this person. It, it's just, it's, they so, um, they cared, Master Hua cared so deeply and had such a broad vision and such a far-reaching, deep vision that I get to experience the benefit of it now, even though I never met him. Um, I, I'm just unbelievably grateful to such a, a person. Um, and it's, I feel like his spirit is definitely here, and, and it's living in the, the teachers and in his disciples, and it's, uh, it's really the energy that I think uh, motivates all of us.